What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm gonna talk about how to fix Intel wireless AC9461 adapter is not working error code 10, 43, 45, 56, 9, all 13 air all the errors on Windows 11 and Windows 10 and how we can fix this app so let me directly get into a step so the first one is all about what we need to do is we just need to perform a complete shutdown what we need to perform a complete power cycle which means we need to shut down your computer once you shut down a computer you need to unplug the power cable for one to two minutes then you have to turn off the wi-fi router now wait for a few seconds then you have to restart your wi-fi router then connect the power cable back to your pc and then restart your computer so this is what it's called the step one that's called the perform a power cycle on a device you have to try this so next one is all about we need to run these commands in your cmd so let me go over here search for the cmd and make sure that you run it as an administrator and go for yes now we need to type these steps one by one so what i'll do is i'll copy this that is ip config flash dns so i'll copy this now i'll paste it press enter once afterwards move to the next one that is ip config release we have to copy this particular value now we need to copy and we need to paste it next one we need to move to the next one that is ip config renew let me copy this and also we need to paste it press enter next one we need to go for the next one that is met csh windsock reset so i'll copy this and i'll paste it just press this we're just doing a complete reset on a computer and also it is going for the last one that is NTTSH INT IP reset. So copy this and we have to paste it. Now, as you can see, this is actually some of the steps regarding the Wi-Fi and the network dry rules on your system. So trying this is going to fix the issue as well. Afterwards, you have to check and next one, we need to disable and enable the network adapter. So to do this, we just need to go over here, search for the device manager and you have to click on this one. And this time we need to expand this. Now from here, what we need to do is just go over here for the network adapters, find the correct network adapter. For me, in my case, this, this is the network adapter. So right click on this one. So what I need to do is right click and first I need to go for disable this. After disabling, what I need to do is after successfully disabling is that we just need to enable it. So just do a restart. After the restart, we have to enable it back and you have to check. Next one is all about nothing but we have to start wlan auto config services so just go over here search for services and we have to click on this one and this time we just need to wait and here we need to scroll down and navigate to wlan so over here you will be able to find the wlan auto config service so keep scrolling down and navigate to wlan auto config so we'll be find it this is the auto config service so i click on this one go to the properties Make sure the startup type is automatic. If not, change into automatic and also make sure the service status is if it is stopped, make sure it is running. Go for OK. Now we need to close this and go back and we have to try the third one. And the next one, we need to perform a network reset and we have to check. So just go over here on your settings, search for the settings and we have to navigate to this particular option here. Navigate to over here we need to go to network and internet now from here we need to scroll down and navigate to advanced network settings now from here if you scroll down you'll be having an option called network reset now from you go for reset now you'll be using the wi-fi that is connected which means you have to connect it back for that you should be knowing the password and all the details so afterwards you have to check still if you're having the trouble what i'm saying is you can move to the next one that is we need to reinstall the network driver or make sure you knew the password for reinstalling the network driver what you need to do is just go over here search for the device manager like this and you have to go over here find the network adapters from here so find the respect one and right click and we have to go for uh, disable it or you can go for uninstalling it then download back from the respective site for me as you can see in my case i have to download this from the respective site for the real tech and afterwards we have to just check whether that's going to fix the issue or not. So still, if you're having the trouble, you can try the next one that is resetting your complete system. 
which may result in the loss of your data, which means you have to take your backup. So to do a reset, just go over here, search for the settings and you have to click on the settings. Now from here, what we need to do is just scroll down and navigate to system. Now from here, you have to scroll down and navigate to over here. If you scroll down, you can see there is an option called recovery. Now from here, we have an option called reset PC. Just go for reset PC. Now they're going to ask you two questions whether you want to keep my files, which means it will be removing your personal files, but trust everything will be banished up. But the another one is remove everything, which means all your data will be removed. So just go over here. And now we have two options, whether you want to download it from the cloud or whether you're going to locally install the windows. So you can select it as per your need. So most of where I'm suggesting you can install it locally, but if you're having the cloud download, which means you'd be having at least four GB of data. If that's the case, you can download this and go for the next. Then once you select, you can just go for the next. And afterwards, it will be restarting will be done. I mean, resetting will be done. And afterwards, you have to check. So these are the steps and moves probably that's going to help you guys up. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon. That's it. Bye bye.